Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana, that's Rex. I'm answering that right now because I know I'm gonna get questions about him. I always get so many comments about my pets being in the back of my videos. I know they're the star of the channel, not me. I get it. Anyway, you guys, today we're doing another Shein video. Shein sent me a ridiculous amount of stuff. Let me show you. I can't even get it to all fit in one box anymore. Like, ever since I took it out of its bags, it takes up a lot of space. But anyway, you guys, we are gonna go through everything in this box in today's video. It is gonna be a crazy one. This will be a try on, and I'm gonna give you a review of all these items. So after further consideration, I'm actually gonna divide this into two videos just because I'm seriously concerned this is gonna be like a half hour long video if I don't. So this first part is gonna be all the accessories, all the clothes, all that kind of stuff. And in the other video, which will be out super soon, I promise, it's gonna be all of the athletic wear I got in this haul because I actually have some really nice athletic stuff in this one as well. But anyway, you guys, I don't wanna waste any time. Let's just get right into it. Before I show you the clothes, I will remind you guys, I do have a discount code for you. It is J-U-L-E-S-S-M-U-R-P-H-5. It's right here on the screen. It'll be down in the description where you can also find the link to every single one of these products. Alrighty, you guys, let's just get right into it. So this first item is the only thing I've actually ever gotten from Shein's Home Goods section, and it's this really soft, really nice blanket. It's actually even a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It has a really nice print. I really like it. I haven't taken it out of its packaging yet because I'm not sure exactly what I want to do. But long story short, this is really soft and a very good start to the Shein Home Goods section that I haven't really ventured into that much yet. So the next thing is probably the most random thing I've ever gotten off Shein, but when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. So you guys know that for Christmas, I got a set to do my own nails, and now I do my own gel nails. I'm not perfect, I'm not a salon yet, but honestly, I think I do a pretty good job for someone who's doing them at home. This is only my second set I ever did myself. So what I got was one of these um, drills that you can use for drilling and filing your nails. I hate the feeling of filing my own nails, so I think that getting this was like really revolutionary. Um, it was actually, I think, like less than 10 bucks. Obviously, Shein sends me this stuff for free to review for you guys, so I didn't pay for it, but I think it's really, really inexpensive and an awesome accessory for someone who does your own nails. So the next thing is a pair of jeans. You guys might remember a few hauls back, I got a really, really nice dark denim pair of jeans, but I explained to you guys that they were just a wee bit too small for me. So I ended up getting the same jeans, one shade lighter and one size bigger. I will say they're probably a little bit too big on me now. Nothing that a few rounds in a dryer cycle isn't gonna fix, but to give you guys a better sizing idea of how the jeans work, I really feel like the extra small I got last time was a pretty true size 25, whereas this size small is a pretty true size 27. So if you guys are looking for sizing on the jeans, I definitely think that's a baseline you guys can work with. These are still super cute. I love them. They're super basic. They fit really, really well, but there's a tiny bit big on me as compared to the extra small, which were a tiny bit small on me. The next thing I got is a skirt. It's just this animal print, flowy. It has a slit. It's a super cute skirt, and I actually got a specific sweater to go with it. I really like the look of these animal print skirts with a kind of like oversized but cropped black turtleneck. I saw this look around so much. I've definitely seen a similar thing on the Aritzia website. So I got these two items to go together and I love them. I expect that even in summer I'll be able to wear this skirt, you know, with like more of a tank top situation. But for winter, I think it's really nice to pair together a longer skirt and then a warmer top to kind of still give you that wintry vibe, but still be looking cute. <laughs> Next thing I got is one of these two color long sleeve sweater shirts. This is so cute and the quality on this feels fantastic. Honestly, it looks like something you could pick off the shelf at Brandy Melville. I really, really like the quality of it. It's a matter of finding the right pants to wear with it because it's a little bit less cropped than I would usually wear. So it doesn't perfectly match to the high-waisted jeans. So I'm still trying to find the perfect bottoms to wear with it. If I find them, I will let you guys know. But this is just adorable. I love it and it is an absolutely great fit. So next up, I have this cropped San Francisco cutoff tank top. I have to admit, I don't necessarily love this item. It's not quite what I was expecting is really the issue with it. I thought it was gonna be more of a tight fit and it's not, even though it's a size small and I kind of would have expected it to be a little bit tighter on me. I probably didn't look closely enough at the pictures down below. It probably would have given me a hint as to the fit of it. But overall, I do like it. I think like I can wear it a lot in summer or to the gym or whatever. It doesn't necessarily feel like the best quality and it's really thin, but for something you're just like throwing over a bathing suit or whatever, I definitely wouldn't complain. 
So next up we have this mesh animal print long sleeve shirt, which I think is super cute, but I got for a very specific purpose. I wanna wear this underneath of the oversized t-shirts I got from Urban Outfitters for Christmas. I think that in winter it looks a little strange wearing them by themselves. So I think something like this underneath would be so cute and definitely very on trend. I don't know how much wear I would get out of this by itself, especially since it's mesh and it's see-through. And because, you know, with COVID, there's no really like going out to bars and stuff. But if there were, this would look really cute with like a black, lacy, opaque bra under it. So yeah, this is really, really cute. Next up I have what appears to be a very simple black top. What I love about it is it's extremely adjustable. It's gonna be hard to show you guys this on camera before I'm trying it on, but you'll definitely be able to tell in the try on. But basically this part here cinches up so it can be either extremely cropped or basically a regular length shirt. I bought this because it's extremely similar to a top from Aritzia that I got my friend for Christmas and I think looks really, really good on her. But this one isn't really the same material. It's more of like a plain, um, cotton shirt and less of a spandexy material so I don't think it looks very natural when it's all the way cropped up or even when it's all the way down I'm not really sure where the happy medium is for this shirt it also doesn't really fit me perfectly but I don't hate it I'll definitely get use out of it and if I don't I'll just donate it So next we have my very first ever pair of shoes from Shein and I am obsessed. First of all, they fit really well, they're comfortable, they're extremely cute, I love them. There are naysayers and by naysayers I mean my sister who say that I'm not going to get any wear out of these because they're such like a distinct, funky, trendy shoe. But I am so confident I'm going to find an outfit to wear these with. I think they're so cute, they're so in style and I love them. So next we have two more items that I fully intend on pairing together. So first off, I have this houndstooth oversized sweater vest. At first when I saw it, I was like, that is not my style. But then when I thought about pairing it with a white blouse underneath, I thought that could be really cute. Again, I have not successfully found the right pair of pants for it yet, but I am going to find them. I know that these together are gonna be super cute and also the blouse could totally be worn by itself. I actually like how this looks just plain with like jeans or something for a kind of like slightly more dressed up look, but like not too dressed up, you know, kind of that happy medium place. But these together are really nice. And I have to say, I'm really impressed, especially by the quality of the sweater vest. It's just really soft and really comfy and it's not itchy at all, which is what I was the most concerned about. Okay, so let's look at another accessory. Now we have belts. This came in a three pack. There is a, a beige one, a black one, and an animal print one. These are really cute. I really like them. They're perfect for jeans or basically anything that already has belt loops. I wouldn't really use this on anything that doesn't. The only thing that kind of irritates me about Shein is that I'm not a super, super small person and yet the smallest belt loop still isn't small enough for me. So no matter what happens when I buy a belt from Shein, I always end up having to add my own loop. It's really not a big deal, but it also wouldn't kill them to put just a few more loops on there to satisfy a few more sizes. But anyway, these are really nice, really good quality. This will make it four belts I've ever gotten from Shein and they all hold up really well. So yeah, if you're looking for a very simple belt, because belts can be expensive in everyday stores. I would totally recommend just grabbing a pack of assorted ones from Shein. So next up, a top I definitely need to steam, but you guys will understand what I'm going for here. It is one of these satiny tops. It's a long sleeve, it's a button up, it's super cute. And I got this actually to try to wear with those leather pants from my last video. I think that could be a really cute combo that I'll show you guys in the try on. Um, I definitely have had some doubts from my mom and my sister about how exactly I'm gonna wear this, but I think it has a lot of potential to be really cute. Also, I think you could just tie it up and kind of wear it as a crop top in summer with, I know, like leather pants or any other kind of cute pants or a jean skirt. This one I feel like has a lot of potential that people aren't necessarily seeing, but it's really adorable. So next up, a really cute top that unfortunately is never going to be worn by me. So. It's one of these tops that ties in the front, you guys know what I mean, and it has these cute little puffy bubble sleeves, it's really adorable, I've seen this on so many girls, you know, festival looking, cute attire, unfortunately this one's just too small for me, I do not have big boobs, 
but this top does not cover them. I don't think it ever could. So it's gonna be gifted to somebody or given to my sister or donated. I don't know what's gonna happen with it, but it is something that I definitely could not wear for the sake of anyone who may see me. Next up, we have this tarot card top. I think the color is really cute and that is why I picked it out. The fit is actually pretty good to me, but my one complaint about this product is that this screen printing on the front of it, the graphic is really hard. And honestly, it kind of lays weirdly across my boobs and sticks out and moves the fabric away from me. It might not look as bad in the try on as I say. Sometimes I look back on the try on videos and I'm like, wait, that doesn't look bad on you, why are you saying that? But I like to be as honest as possible with you guys. So honestly, I find this a little bit unflattering, but you guys can let me know what you think. Here we have another accessory, two of these huge claw clips. It takes a massive claw clip to keep up all my hair. So when I saw these, I knew they were meant for me. I always use this when I'm at work. I'm a waitress, keep my hair in my face. It's really important. And yeah, I love using these. These very well might be my favorites from the entire haul. This is a four pack of vest crop tops that I think are adorable, but what really gets me on these is the fabric. First of all, it's ribbed. You guys know I love anything ribbed, but it's kind of like a sporty material, which you, for me at least, I don't have to wear a bra under it. The way the band at the bottom is, plus how tight it is, plus the material, you really don't see too much. And I think it's really, really nice by itself. And I have to say that for a four pack of items, I'm just like wildly impressed. So it's got a white, a black, a kind of like brownie orange and then one of these lilac colors. I just think this is a great combo. I'm so impressed with it. Honestly, like as far as quality goes, this is probably the most impressed I was from the entire haul. And then speaking of things I could pair with it, I actually already wore this outfit and I wore that black top with this little ultra crop sweater over it. You can't even really see what I'm trying to show you here from holding it like this. So basically it's one of these turtlenecks with the big sleeves, but there's none of the actual body part of the shirt. So you get just the shoulders covered and the neck covered. It's super in right now. When I wore this outfit, everyone was pretty obsessed with my style. So I did feel pretty good wearing it and I was really impressed with how it went over. I think it's super cute. And if you don't want to go out and buy it from, you know, Aritzia or even H&M and you want to get it at a cheaper price, I think that Shein is the place to get it. I originally wanted the white one so I could also wear it underneath oversized shirts and under crewnecks to have that like kind of layered look. But unfortunately, they were out of white and only had black, but I did notice that white is back in stock now. I promise that we're slowly but surely getting down to the end. This next piece is an oversized t-shirt that I think is so cute. It has this cute little butterfly emblem on the front. It's an adorable color. And I'm actually like looking mostly forward to wearing this in summer with just shorts underneath, nothing else, but like a bikini or whatever. You don't really need to have like a full look going on. I definitely wouldn't wear pants with this, so it's like a very long oversized shirt, but it's so cute. And what really blows me away is how soft it is. This shirt is so silky smooth and soft. I love it. You and me and 20 bucks. Up next, I have an accessory, or should I say torture device for my boyfriend. I got us these matching hats that say, you are my universe, and I think they're adorable. I haven't showed them to him yet. I'm sure that he'll warm up to them and definitely wear them for me. I just want like, you know, one cute couple's picture in it. We're down to just our last two items, and I'm gonna start off with this coat. So this is a full length coat. It's a nice beige color, it has pockets, Honestly, for as far as the quality goes, for on what would probably be a very expensive coat in the average store, I'm pretty impressed with this. You guys will see in the try on that doesn't necessarily look overly expensive. As far as things from Shein go, I feel it's one of those things that maybe someone could probably tell isn't the most high end, but it's still really good and I really like it. And then last but not least, and I totally respect the fact these might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I got this two shade of brown zebra print jean pants, and oh my gosh, I am in love. If you're going with a statement outfit, you can basically pair any basic top with these pants and you will look so cute. I cannot wait to wear them. I think they're just so cute and they actually fit really well. I'm always so shocked by Shein jean products that they actually fit me well and that they're very comfortable. But anyway, I love these pants. I think the print is so cute. I came across them and I was like, wait, I need those pants. And I got them and I actually really love them. Anyway, you guys, 
guys that is everything for today thank you so much for watching this video i hope you saw some pieces that would interest you if you are buying off of shein the code to use is j-u-l-e-s-s-m-u-r-p-h-5 i'll have that down in the description with a link to every single one of the items i showed in this haul and don't forget this was not everything. I have all of the athletic wear still left to show you guys. It'll be out in my next video. So if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe now. Like this video, comment down below, and obviously, most importantly, turn on the bell notification so you'll see when that video goes up. Have an amazing week, you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Made it clear what I feel for you when you say that we move too fast. Switching up your attitude.